Okay, let's try to make a snow globe today. A custom, personalized snow globe. Gift idea, let's get to it. Hey guys, it's Shirley Dead Wind Ninja, and today I'm going to try to transform this Dollar Tree Unbreakable, it's made out of plastic, DIY snow globe kit. Um, basically, it just came at the Dollar Tree like this with this piece of paper inside which has instructions to make a traditional like water snow globe they do say you need like hot glue gun, glitter, and like ornament or something that you want to glue to the base of this plug here and then you stick it in add water or baby oil and glitter and then you have a snow globe which is a cool idea except that um, I can't find my glue gun or my glitter or any kind of figurine to put onto here though I do have another one I bought two of these so maybe we'll do one traditional one and one custom one but I did want to make one for my new baby niece her name is Eleven yes just like from Stranger Things and I also bought this pack of like little tiny foam balls from the Dollar Tree as well did I say Dollar Tree or Dollar Store? Well, b both of these are from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I was planning on doing like a big Dollar Tree haul from my last round, but my son went through everything and he already took a whole bunch of stuff out and I've already been using stuff. So yeah, I guess you'll just see bits and pieces of it from tutorials. And yeah, I'm thinking this can act as snow because she's a girl, so it's kind of like pastel -y, cute snow. And I'm thinking about take this plug out here somehow gluing or adhering a custom 3 by 2 inch picture I do have a sprocket sublimation printer it's well they call it like a what did they call it zinc zero ink printer z-i-n-k but it's basically it uses kind of sublimation they call it sublimation because you don't use ink but it uses heat to heat up an image in a particular way so that it shows. So I guess it's kind of like heat activated ink, but it's not sprayed on like a traditional sublimation printer. Anyways, I'll show you that in a second. I'm charging it right now, but I'm thinking if I put the photo in here and then or maybe I can hot glue. I'll try to find something to glue or maybe I'll put like a nano tape and then see if that works. I'll stick it in, make a little crevice wedge, and then I'll stick in all of these to cover the base. And then I'll fill this with the rest so that she can shake it when she gets a little older. That's in theory, right? I don't know if this will actually works. I've never done this before. But that's what we're going to do. Let me show you my sprocket printer in case you're interested. I do. Um, I find it very handy because I use it to make photo app magnets that are all over my fridge at the moment but yeah it's super handy to just print photos conveniently and fast so here is my sprocket this is the HP sprocket this is the original one I got it when it first came out because I thought it was such a cool concept and basically you fill it with um, special type of zinc paper zero ink paper and right now this is charging and it is on so that I can print a photo. I don't think I'll be able to record me printing the photo though because I have to use my phone. You use an app on your phone and you just pick the picture and then it prints out. But give me one second, I'll show you what it looks like once the photo is printed. Okay, so here it is printed. You just pull it out. And look how cute she is. Isn't that so cute? She is so cute. Well, at least to me anyway. She's three months old here. With her little bunny, so cute. Is that a bunny? I don't know, a little stuffed animal or something. Anyways, I did print two because I realized I need to put them back to back. So let's continue on with the project. Okay, so we have our photos here. And these um, sprocket pictures are actually stickers. So you can use these for scrapbooking or put them in a little mini photo album. They do sell albums that fit. These pictures are not sponsored, but I just think it's super cool. Anyways, I'm going to stick them back to back so that you can see the baby on all sides, either back or front. Okay, so let's try to peel the backing off of one. I've never actually used it as a sticker. I always just stuck like a 
magnet tape on the back and made it into a magnet. So let's see if I can get this off. Okay, I got a little tiny corner starting. So there's the backing. Peel this off. And now I just have to line it up correctly here. There was probably an easier way to do this. and try to put like a piece here and a piece here and wedge it in together and then I will cover it with these foam balls. So this is nano tape or magic tape. <laughs> Sorry, it's super loud. It's basically like this clear tape that you can wash and you can stick it on walls and you can stick it to whatever and it's supposed to be able to hold anything on there. So I'm just gonna, you know what, let me turn it this way. I'm gonna measure it to the width of this circle, which was approximately here. It's clear, so should be good. Then I'm going to cut this tape in half so I can create a little slot. Okay, this is hard for me because I can't see where the half mark is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to lay it on here. work and then if I wedge this one on here would that work it's not in the middle <laughs> okay reposition reposition let's just put this closer to the middle okay put this here is that the middle I probably should mark the middle I'm gonna move it down. A bit more. That's more like it. Okay. I mean, I guess if it's not in the middle, middle, it's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to wedge. I'm going to just put it as close to this bottom as I can without overlapping it. I think that works. Yeah, all right. So if you haven't been able to tell, I'm just making this up as I go. But yeah, I think that works. I'm gonna push down the edges, push these together. Let's push this together a little bit. Mm, it's not super centered, but It's fine. That would work. Let's see what it looks like in the globe. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That's looking good to me. Right? Cute. Okay. Let's take this out. Okay. 
Okay. And then I have to open this. Okay, then I'm gonna peel off this little clear sticky layer that's on the tops of these two pieces of nano tape carefully without moving the nano tape. See? It's like a little piece of clear film. And then I will cover these with the balls. Let's see if this will work. I think if I just pour all of these does it stabilize? Put on here. There we go. Pour this in here. Without making a giant mess. If that's possible. Which may not be. Ah. <laughs> ah! Balls everywhere! Okay. Let's see, it's down my sleeve. Let's pick these up, put them in there. I'm not good at pulling stuff. Actually, not as messy as I thought. Didn't spill as much as I thought, though I did spill a lot. Okay, then I put this in. And then I shake it like this. I wonder if it'll coat it. How cute! And does that even look cute though? enough balls in there. Let me take this out. Let's see if it coated this top section. I think it worked. It did. So I'm gonna put this back in. There's a one out here. Nope. Okay. It's sticking to the top. These foam balls are kind of staticky. Okay, and I have nano tape kind of sticking out. That work? Let's see. Let's push this in. I'm gonna push this in all the way, and that'll make it. Almost impossible to take back out. So, yep. That happened. And then I'll screw this to the bottom to seal it. Is it a static? <laughs> um, it's kind of cool how they float. That's cool. There's a clear. But oh, there you are, baby. So cute. Alright, and then I think, should I put like her name up here in stickers? Or will that ruin it? Oh, you know what? Maybe I can put on the base. Let me go see what I have. But yeah, that's pretty cool though if I rub it. I wonder if it'll stick. Like if I rub it. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, and for a dollar craft? Not bad. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I had to reopen this up and take some out because after a while the static in here just covered the whole thing so we couldn't see the photo anymore. But let's try this again. It's a little bit 
better. Thanks for helping me, baby. Peach, I'm gonna go on your talkie, baby. Can you see your very cute face? decorate this bottom with stickers. We'll see. So I decided to embellish the snow globe with these pearl and diamond kind of stickers. Don't mind that, that's my son. I got this from Dollar Tree also. So I just coated the bottom rim with it and then I put a little pearl on the top right in the middle to tie it together. But yeah, I think overall it turned out pretty decent. The styrofoam balls kind of go all crazy. So you kind of have to like really hit them really hard to get them out of the way. But there we go. Okay. Let's see what this looks like in the light. Okay, so I decided to take some foam balls out because it was just too cluttered in there. So yeah, here's a little bit. You can see the picture a little better. This way. The picture kind of slanted, but I mean it still works, let's see. Are the foam balls it's because I think that if I can put them into the con container and I saved the day because I was a, a superhero. So cute. Thank you, baby.